everybody, welcome back to another land place. Play the Spire. Dare I say, sorry, I bit my tongue. Dare I say, the last episode was the first encouraging ascension run we've had. The first results driven smile on my face in an ascension 20 run in Slay the Spire in like six weeks, maybe. Is very exciting. Now, it could be a little flash in the pan. What did we learn? Take risks. Roll the D8 twice in a row. Sure, you need two eights to have a chance to win. That's a 1 in 64 chance. I'll give it a shot. Give me a card. Early on, give me a card. You know what? Give me AoE. I've been trying to force Sneaky Strike a little too often. I definitely prefer this path. <laughs> elite Rest Super Elite scares the crap out of me. There's not a whole lot of options here. Um, elite... Rest regular elite or perhaps pivot to non-elite. That sounds good to me. So I really this is a rejuvenating Step forward for me personally, you know, we only made it to the second final boss Well But still that's pretty good and I have to say I mean it was largely slash definitely slash entirely because of snack OI but that, in and of itself, is valuable feedback. Hold on, three strikes kills you. We were, okay, actually, that doesn't kill you, but it gets you close enough to die to two strikes. Yes. Now we know. You see Snack OI? Definitely consider it. Early on, give me this dang old backstab, dude. No doubt about it. Now, this is important. I think I will take an escape plan and a sucker punch. Both of which provide me with value and provide me with value early. We'll upgrade, and of all the upgrades, I think you definitely want sucker punch. More damage and more weakness. Backstab is exactly good enough. Oh my word. Okay, so we're like, don't get too hung up on this one so far. But we've, we've made some improvements to this deck early. That's all you could ever ask for. Um, truth be told, I don't really like a lot of these cards. I do think Choke is good. I th I, I'm going to take it because we have Escape Plan, we have Neutralize, you know, etc, etc. For now, just give me the gold. I think I've been a little bit too... Uh, I, not like I've been rolling the, the thinnest decks you could ever ask for, but I think I've been rolling decks a little too thin to be advisable. Okay. Decent first turn. Next step. I think this is a good turn for a ghost potion. I've also tried to, you know, be a little bit more open about using our potions, you know, at a what appears to be an appropriate time. I'll take two damage to hit him. This is one of those situations we really want to get in front of him. A choke and then a zero cost card. Still, we only need to hit him for 33. Choke does damage uh, directly to HP, so I think you just do, like, a choke. One of those. We only gotta hit him for 13 next turn. It's not that bad. It's impossible, is what I meant to say. We only have to hit him for 8 in the next 2 turns. Now we're, we're cooking with gas. Could have been worse. Honestly, you're gonna think I've lost it, but I think this guaranteed damage is, is very strong. So, things are a little weird. I figured let's rest and then uh, go for more elite fights as quickly as possible. So, you have 42 HP. Worth it, in my opinion. It did cost us a potion to kill that guy, but it'll probably save us a bunch of damage uh, long term. I think we'll go for you first, which means we'll hit you with a choke. Um, and then... I think this is, again, one of the situations where we want to speed up the descent. I mean, we either took 7 damage or we took 5 by playing a defend. So I, I think we made the right call. This is another one where I think it's okay to take 2 damage, just to make you more likely to kill in the future. We really want to get you this turn. Not gonna happen, but we are also not gonna take damage, so it's not a huge loss. 
Okay, uh, it, it's subpar, but life goes on. Two elites on the first floor is still a pretty good turn of events for me. And the boot is giving us more value than I would have expected. Take two more damage. This does put us in a position, I would say, like, without a doubt, I feel uncomfortable fighting, um... Fighting the super elite, the, the knob goblin. I think we take Riddle with Holes and then put it in our hand right off the bat. Unless, actually, you know what? A choke is way better, but I still am happy with Riddle with Holes in the deck. So we want to dodge the elite, I think. With a potion, you know what? Let's go for it. Uh, we'll see how this goes, but my expectation is that I will go for it. Just because we have a potion... Adrenaline is very good. If we die, we die. But we know we have a very strong first turn. So my obvious two cents is why not just go for it. And, and we got... I mean, the first turn was incredible here. Uh, and we didn't use our uh, potion. And it didn't matter. Um... I still think we like escape plans, especially now that we don't have, like, anything that's negative about, you know, skills showing up. I mean, you really want that one to hit, but that's okay. We're definitely gonna backstab you twice. Dude, we gotcha. Dude, this is a lot of reliable damage at the very start of this run. Um... I do think more defense, I mean, is good for a number of reasons. I think we want Choke to do more damage, because it makes all of our other cards better, too. Um, I mean, here's what I mean by Deflect. Deflect not only uh, is a block, but on top of that, it's advantageous because of the fact that it helps us uh, have more skills in our deck, so our two escape plans are more likely to hit. So you're going to make me frail. That's a real problem. I still think we go for you first. So we'll do this. This is 11 plus another 5. You're on 1 HP. Now all we need to do is play a dagger spray to get you. So let's get some defense going here. Well, actually, then I think about it. Adrenaline got you. Valid point. So I think we just want to not take any more damage. This is way stronger than my decks typically get to like this early on a silent run. This is very surprisingly great. I think we'd actually love another deflect, honestly. So the the question becomes, are you willing to let it ride on this one? And I think the answer is yes. I'm I'm willing to let it ride on this one. Let's let's upgrade and, and hope that we can do better in the future. Obviously neutralize gets way better. But I'm kind of of the point, you know, let's take some guaranteed Super blocks. I mean, these those are going to be worth eight each, thanks to oddly smooth stones. So this is exactly what you want. Turn one, you choke. Escape plan for free. Um, do we need to adrenaline? We might as well adrenaline. Then we escape plan for free again, and we might as well. We don't need the backstab again, but it, it takes off five HP. I think I would rather get it out of the deck, just for 5 HP removal, um, just so our deck is, you know, we know what's coming, if that makes sense. It seems like a cop-out, but like, so it's smoothed out. So right now I feel like we're pretty safe. I do wish you were weak, but whatever, we'll take 2 damage. This is where you go, alright, well. Can't always get what you want. We might have to use our potions. We will have to use our potions. I think it's honestly a, a very smart use of them. That's my opinion on the subject, at least. Don't hit him again. You gotta just if it's, if you can get him in a weakness chain for his big attacks, that's what you like to see. He is only half dead though. I mean, we definitely this deck sort of peters out once we get past the early stages. But you gotta start there. Oh, no, 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 not that. This. Big plays. Not as big of a play, but that's okay. We take 10 damage, but we did quite a lot. This is gonna be touchy. We gotta do 19 damage on 3 energy. 
I definitely, uh, it's, it's not doable. It's literally not doable. 27. Oh, 33. We're freaking dead. That hurts. Because we, we just didn't have anything for the boss. Should have rested, honestly. We, we had a, a good constructed deck, a well-constructed deck, but that's life. We learned a lesson. The lesson is don't underestimate the boss. I would describe that as as a subpar get for us, but hey, one potion uh, per combat is is not the sort of thing. Dude, he's gonna get out of control. It's not the sort of thing you should be super bent out of shape about. Like I think we could definitely get something good out of this. We got to get this guy in a lethal range, brother. This is a dangerous situation. Twenty two. We're drawing. Oh my god. Honestly, I think we take 16. Yeah, we barely got there. We got a block potion. Pretty good. Dude, honestly, leg sweep is amazing. But I think I'm learning, you know, progressive damage as the silent is, is extremely important. To have that seems nice. I, I will own up to it 100%, by the way. It's possible I grossly underestimate the value of White Beast Statue. It's basically a free status effect. Or heal, or block per combat. It's pretty good. And you could save it if you don't need it. Okay, so again, Leg Sweep. We'll take. But Bane is also interesting. Because, you know, it's one of the best... Uh, I mean, just straight up damage dealers for us. Okay, don't, don't get it twisted up here. I do think we will start to remove basics. I don't like any of the cards uh, that much. The ones we could afford, at least. Um, let's, I mean, because we're starting a little behind the eight ball, let's obtain a relic. And I, I don't necessarily think Ma Bank is fantastic, but uh, I figured we might as well kind of shoot for the fences. You know what I mean? So we 100% want Noxious out there. We, we also want to play as many cards as possible. Just so we lose less HP. Um, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. When you draw the card you need most last. On the bright side. I guess it would have been last whenever we drew it. Because after playing it he would have... Woken up regardless. Don't be afraid to use the potion, but if you're gonna use it... I was gonna say you'd use it on this turn, but it's actually not the case. You certainly wouldn't use it on this turn. We're... With pretty much every enemy, we're in a waiting game now. Um, I think you just go for it. The waiting game is just... Who who dies first? I mean, I guess in a broad sense, that's kind of like the game in general. Um, but we've got the added benefit of, of doing a little bit more damage per turn. So we need to do 12 damage to you this turn. It will not happen. Um, but what we can do is hopefully take zero damage, and then you're dead next turn, and that's, you know, just about as good as that could have gone, I think. Now, let's hope for some dominant relics here. Oddly Smooth Stone, you're not gonna believe me, and I'll definitely take this, but... You're not gonna believe me, but Oddly Smooth Stone is something I was actually looking to talk about, because I think that just having one free dex in a defensive heavy deck is, like, is very strong. Okay, well, this is easy. Glass Knife, uh, it, I mean, it's basically like our backstabs. It serves the same purpose as them from our last uh, attempt. It's just a way for us to get through uh, the enemy HP as quickly as possible, and the faster we kill an enemy, the less damage they can do to us. So I think much like uh, last run, Ghost in a Jar is so good. No, 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 no. Much like last run, we got a pretty good, like, raw damage sort of thing going on for ourselves here. So let, we gotta crunch the numbers intelligently. That puts you at lethal range. This puts you at... 
lethal range for something. <laughs> and then this at least weakens you, but a glass knife kills you. Ah, but with four turns of weakness, maybe we're a little touchier. Glass knife still kills you, but you have to die. You know what? That's as good as it gets. We get to hold the potion regardless. Uh, AoE is, is pretty valuable. I think I'd be okay adding that here. And because we have a regen potion, I'm not going to rest. Instead, let's go for raw damage and, and hope that our elite is not the knob goblin because that's definitely like the worst case scenario for us. Um, and we'll use the healing potion. The reason we're going to use the healing potion is because of the fact that uh, we need a spot for a potion and we might want uh, some intangibility protection on the next floor. 13 block. We are going to get there. Is hard, but I think we're okay here because of Glass Knife. Neutralize is, is somewhat helpful. Glass Knife, two strikes? Yeah, absolutely. We got super lucky, but I'll take it. Um, and I do think, you know, still a dash is pretty good as well. All right, not Knob Goblin. Okay, we got a Knob Goblin, but it's not the end of the world. We, like, want a Wraith form, but we don't want it right away. But I still think we want it. We don't want it for next turn, though. So I know it seems backwards, but... Um, and we'll probably end up using our Intangibility Potion as well. We're not going to play it yet. We know what turns we need them on. You're doing 18 damage. Okay. This is a bad turn. So I think this is a great turn for us to do this. And then that... And then this, and we will play one, even though he gets stronger. Now, you want to draw Wraith form here. It's okay. It's actually okay. Turns out we didn't need Wraith form. And maybe Infinite Blades would have been better, but... I hedged my bets. Or a Calcum, pretty good. I actually think Bouncing Flask uh, is definitely something we would look towards here. And, dude... You don't rest. On the first floor, you do not rest. You got 15 HP. Rely on Entropic Brew to give you like a blood potion. That's all it takes. It gave me another Entropic Brew, dude. Honestly, could be worse. Um, I think we, we definitely want to hit you. And then we'll also weaken you so your next turn will be like 6 damage. Beauty. Don't, okay, I'm, you know, I'm not mad. I would just like to draw Noxious, please. And because we have uh, Auric Calcum, I, I hate to lose the HP to Regret, but this is how it's got to go. It's going to be very close. Straight up. You do what you got to do. I, I like our odds better than you would expect here. It's, but it's, it's close. <laughs> uh, it's, it's definitely close. So I'm hoping that weakness, you know, protects us long term. And then just... Just stay ahead of the competition. We lose one HP. He's only got a couple of turns left in him. Just weather the storm. 24 damage. You son of a gun! How dare you! How dare you? We'll do one more here. I, I think both of these runs are actually pretty good. You know, we were just lacking like one thing to get us there. Uh, and I think we if we got energy relics, we could have been fine on the second floor. Okay, well... I don't know. Um, this seems like a fun build that is really, really bad uh, on A20.
You know, having a peace pipe. It's like a necessary relic for some circumstances. I just don't know if either of those circumstances or any of those circumstances are, you know, representative of our present run. We need three strikes to kill you. And we got there. Thank God. I don't know. Running a thin deck could be fun. I think having any form of, of like, decent AoE is pretty good. You know what? You, you go for it. It's not resignation. It's quite the opposite. Resignation is taking the safe path early on in a run because if you take the dangerous path, your odds of dying increase. What we're doing is exalted. We're deciding, you know, to take our fate into our own hands and knowing that being risky early on is the only thing that really gives us a, a reasonable line to actually get to a victory later. Because we've, we've tried. We've tried the safe path and... I'm dumb. We, we, we're taking damage we need to take there. Um, we've tried the safe path, and, and the safe path... Well, for me, it's inconsistent. That being said, in spite of everything I just said, we are going to heal off this one. If you want to be uh, technical, regret did kind of kill us on the last one. So we're going to do something... This is a little different, and it's not going to make people super pleased, I think, but... Um, we're, we're gonna try to actually, you know, get down here early, you know, get, get to a super thin deck and then get an engine that works consistently. Um, and I know you're like, this is inconsistent on A20. It is. But when you get a rare relic like Peace Pipe early, I'm not saying you absolutely have to build around it, but... It's, uh, it seems like an interesting prospect. One of the things that's been, uh, it's been hard for me on A20, and I actually think it's part of our, like, the renaissance of me understanding what's actually, you know, going to win A20 for us eventually, and I know we'll get there. We're probably going to die on this run immediately, but, um, is the idea that, Losing early doesn't necessarily mean that you screwed up. Losing early is almost like a Spartan philosophy. It's like if the run is weak to begin with, you're just you're taking it out so that it can't disappoint you later. Now I'm not for human beings it's a it's a terrible philosophy. But for a, you know, Slay the Spire, you know, a, a card-based roguelite, who knows? So this one... Meh, didn't really get off the ground. Living there, by the way, I guess this is where I'm trying to go with it. Living there was very easy. To live through that is not a complicated prospect. I don't know, dude. Honestly, I think I'd still rather just have one HP. Than, than a little bit of extra max HP. At least we could, you know, we're, we know we're going to be able to upgrade before our first elite fight because we're not going to take any damage. I think, yeah, I love escape plan, but we need, in my opinion, without a doubt, a better uh, option for doing direct damage. I actually like heal hook quite a lot, to be honest. Go ahead and curse me. You know, this is the the advantage of taking an aggressive path early. I actually think we should go this way so we can remove the curse. The or the advantage of taking um you know, enemies are super weak to begin with is that I think we can afford to take the aggressive options. Um I really don't think finisher is necessarily what we're looking for to be straight up with you. Okay, so what we want is steroid potion riddle with holes. We will toss this. It's as good as it gets, I think. Still gotta hit him. I mean, six poison is like 21 damage. So there's there's work to be done. But relatively good. You're gonna be at 29, which is actually, you know, 26. Really would have liked to have hit you a little bit more. But we only have to hit you for 12. 
It's not <laughs> possible, unfortunately. Man, this guy scales super well for himself. Thank God. We only needed two attacks. All right. Oddly smooth stone. It shows up all the time. It's not even close. I know I'm playing fast, but like Corpse Explosion is is your play there. And, and I, the double neutralize is really good, but three extra poison. I think if we're going to play this, we, we want it to be as good as possible because it's very expensive. This is the worst um, for us right now. This, I mean, we're, we're probably dead yet again. That's four losses in a single video, which is, uh, I mean, it's pretty devastating. The only thing I can say in my own defense is, as we perish here is uh, these losses were merciful. If we if we rested, we beat the elite. What happens? We probably die on the, you know, room encounter like two after. This is a sobering run after the exaltedness of our last run, though. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. That was a great deal. I'll be back! with a defect run, a genuine chance. And I'll see you then. See ya.